Hey everybody, it's Sean. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to set up a document that is a vertical orientation as opposed to a horizontal orientation. Um, this could be useful for documents like calendar pages, or maybe you just have a different type of document that you want to display in a different manner. Um, it's up to you what that ends up being, but uh, we're just gonna operate under the assumption that it is a calendar. And what I want to do is I want to get started. So we're just going to jump right in. We're going to hit file, new document. When it loads. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, we have our new document window. And I'm just going to call this uh, calendar. There we go. And I think because it has the previous dimensions from when I went and worked on this recently, um, it has retained all the information. So I want the width to be five and a half inches. I want the height to be six inches. We want this to be vertical orientation or sorry, portrait orientation, not landscape. Um, I'm going to start out with six pages. Uh, we need facing pages turned on and we can leave one column. Our margins are fine at a quarter of an inch. Bleed is fine at an eighth of an inch, and slug we don't have to worry about. So let's hit create. Now, um, when we create this, uh, the first thing I want to point out, if we think about in terms of a calendar, the first page, it's going to be the cover. We don't have to worry about why that might not be a spread, so let's not freak out for now. But um, one thing that we should take note of is that the spine here is in the middle and the pages will open up in a portrait um, style orientation, meaning that the book is longer than it is tall. And what we actually want to do is make the book taller than it is long um, because this essentially has to get rotated 90 degrees. Um, so let's sort of build a couple of elements uh, to help illustrate that. So if we think about a calendar, on the one side of our spread, we have an image, right? An illustration, a piece of artwork, we have something uh, to look at. And on the bottom half, we usually have a grid um, or a table that tells us uh, what day of the week it is and where the holidays are in the month. And we need these to be on the other side or other orientation rather. To do that, what we can do is we can select the first page and the last page. We can go hit this hamburger menu, hit uh, page attributes, and rotate spread view 90 degrees clockwise. Now this looks a lot more like a proper calendar should look. Um, our artwork is on the top, our table is on the bottom, and we are ready to go. Uh, let's say as well that we need a master page element. Right away you can tell the master page Oh, it's, it's not the right orientation. And to prove that, I'm going to draw out a text box. I'm going to put in a current page number place marker uh, using Shift, Alt, Option, and uh, Command N. I'm just going to make this guy 80 points, and I'm going to plop it in the center for alignment. Uh, I'm going to drag it off onto the other page and copy it as well using command, uh, sorry, using shift alt option uh, and dragging. And if we go onto our page two, you can see that even though the page numbers are there, they're not oriented properly. And to fix this, you need to highlight your master pages, go to page attributes, rotate spread 90 degrees. You'll see that there's a little rotation icon next to it to a note that we've done that change, but our actual information hasn't changed yet. And just like on the other side of things where they didn't uh, change their orientation, um, they also didn't change their orientation again. So to fix this, what you have to do is rotate it 90 degrees. Rotate it 90 degrees. There we go. And if we go back to our page two and page three, boom, they are correct now. What I wanted to do uh, was to prove a point to you guys that if you set your document up properly from the get-go, you shouldn't have many issues. But if you guys decide to get ahead of yourself and start formatting things too quickly, and you forget to rotate certain aspects of your document like master pages or maybe just your actual spreads, you're going to run into a lot of problems. It's going to make things really confusing and just kind of give you a bit of a headache. So really take your time here. Really make sure that you set your document well from the start. And I'm going to show you something else that can happen that might cause a problem. I'm just going to finish off this spread here, six and seven, and jump back into our example. So our example has 28 pages, okay? And we only have seven here in this document. So to finish this off, we need to create 
a bunch of new pages. Let's just hit new page, new page, new page a bunch of times until we get to 28. There we go. But you can tell these pages are not rotated, they're not aligned uh, properly with the rest of our document. So what we have to do is click and highlight all of them. We can right click on the page icon and go to page attributes, sp uh, rotate spread view and hit 90 degrees and everything should snap into place. There we go. So everything's aligned properly. Um, you really want to make sure you have your whole document set up properly as like a skeleton uh, before you start throwing in all of your design changes, all of your design options, and what have you. So that's pretty useful. Um, okay, so we're back up here at the month that should be January, pages two and page three. So January artwork on top, January table down below. And one thing that I really want to stress as we get into the concept of printing a book is the concept that you have to have four or you have to have a number of pages that's divisible by four. Otherwise, the print booklet will not work. Um, so just make sure that whatever document you're going to be setting up where you need it to be uh, printed as a booklet, uh, it's divisible by four. With that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video where I go over print booklet options. See you then.